Today, I'd like to talk to you on a very serious note, because this is the story of a man overcoming monumental physical pain and suffering. I went to the DMV today, and it was really, really ugly. There's nothing funny about what you're about to hear. Everything was organized. I, I went in there. That's such a part of just being like a man, I is going to motor vehicle well, and not a man. Car. Work with me, son. So I get to the, I get to the lady, and I, I must say, the nicest DMV lady ever. Ever. She wasn't the problem this time. The last three times, they were the problem. All right, so she's going through all the forms like, okay, we'll get you out of here in a jiffy. Right. And she's going through all the stuff, and I'm like, all right, finally. Fourth time going to DMV to get my uh, vehicle registered. This is it. I'm finally going to have New York plates. Truth be told, today's world can be namby pamby All of a sudden, she says, uh, okay, I just need a uh, copy of the title. Is this the title? Oh, I started to panic. What to do? What to do? So I had to get the leasing company on the line. This was the last time I went to send me the power of attorney, basically saying it's okay to register the car in New York State. All right? Uh-huh. You would think that people, when they're sending that, would send a, a copy of the title knowing I'm going to need that as well, Anthony. No, you can't expect them to do that. So I don't have the title. So now I can't do it. So now I'm ready to go home which means I'd have to go back to the DMV for the fifth time. No, no, no! So then the lady sees the panic on my face. She goes, look, can you get the leasing company to uh, fax it over, the title? Hmm. If I get a fax of it, boom, you're out of here in two minutes. I'm like, no problem. He realizes he's got to get it! So I, got, I go out in the hall. It's key to the story that you know I only had 70 cents in my pocket. I, I called the leasing company and I, I explained my situation. I need my, you know, the title faxed over to the DMV. Mm -hmm. The lady says, I can't do that for you. You have to talk to Judy. Judy is busy with another customer. You'll have to call her back. Click, hangs up on me. No, no, no. I, I don't have enough money to call damn Judy. So what do I do? I drive all the way home. He figures what the heck. And I call Judy and I give her a piece of my mind. I say, Judy, listen. You have to fax a copy of the title to DMV right now. Will there be a problem? She says, oh, no problem at all. Will you do it now? She goes, yes. I go, okay. I am going to leave my house for the DMV. I expect that uh, title to be faxed when I get there. That is beautiful. All right, it gets better. So I go back to the DMV. Everyone knows now because I, I was there an hour before or whatever, okay? I spend... 20 minutes staring at the fax machine waiting for a copy of the title to come through. What to do? What to do? 20 minutes later, it's not coming through the fax machine, okay? He said it would not work. After 20 minutes away in the DMV, I'm like, okay, there's a problem. Now I have to make another call. I don't nope. have any change. No, no, no. So I'm at the customer service. I, I explain, look, the lady was supposed to fax it 20 minutes ago. I've been staring at the fax machine. There's a problem. I need to use your phone. She goes, there's a phone in the in the uh, the lobby there, or whatever, right? I said, no, I have one nickel. I can't make a call. The lady, supposedly part of customer service, goes, you'll have to talk to a supervisor. His arm arose. I go, it's a goddamn phone call. Give me your phone. Sir, you're building bridges. You're making friends. Now the real friendly teller heard me screaming at the lady, and she goes, and she goes, here. And she hands me a cordless phone. I go, thank you. <laughs> and then I turn to the customer service lady, and I go, was that hard to do? He got up and got one. So I call the leasing company again. I go, hi. <laughs> Remember you said you would fax it in 20 minutes? I've been staring at the fax machine. Guess what? Nothing is popping out. What's the problem? Oh, I'll fax it right over. I, I made a copy of it. It was too light, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, will you fax it right now before I come back in here with an automatic weapon and shoot everybody? And did she? She did. She did? Fifteen minutes <laughs> later, she sends it over. You've got moxie. And don't let anyone ever take that away from you. And then uh, I paid my seventy two fifty. <laughs> so I wrote the check and I got out of there. Young man, do you ever look back and wonder what would have happened if you just... Given up if you hadn't followed your dream. Took I five know. trips to DMV to get my license and my registration. And I think we've all learned a lesson from this. You've showed us that while no man is an island, one man can make a difference. And now I'm uh, registered in New York. Pretty cool. <laughs> I'd say you are very cool. A very cool cat indeed.